Okay, so we have made it to part three of my DIY Microlux installation. In this video, you will see my mom completing my Microlux. I'm also going to be showing you how I am bunching and banding my hair for my very first wash day. I'm going to be sharing with you the product that I'm using. And yeah, so let's just get into the rest of this install. So I believe my mom has five or four sections to complete at this point. Okay, so here my mom is just perfecting and fixing my middle part. We hadn't touched this since the beginning of my install. So my mom is just perfecting that middle part and making sure that it's right in the middle. If you like this video so far, make sure to subscribe, like, click that notification bell so you know when I post a new video and definitely comment below. So this is the final day of install. We left the last section, the 21st section, just to complete in one sitting. So this is my mom just completing, working through retightening that last section. I actually couldn't believe that we were almost done because it had been a week of getting my hair done. So I was just getting so excited to be almost done with my Microlox install. And I'm going to be slowing things down in the next clip so that you can get our reaction on finally finishing the install.
gonna do this for uh, business. Because <laughs> my shoulders kill. Like, I have a salon, I'm gonna go and every day under this. Mm -hmm. fuck. I'd have to get a massage every single day. Like, after I'm finished business doing expense. it. Business expense. Huh? Eh? You can make it a business and expense. Yeah, exactly, but I would have to, man. I'd have to, like, have somebody available. Okay, there's one more now. Here he comes, the very last one. Wow, we're done. <laughs> done. Oh, Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, wow. They look so shiny. Yep. got back from a walk so I'm really really sweaty right now you can see my glasses fogging up this Georgia humidity is no joke but this is what my hair is looking like hold on let me clean my glasses I'm about to shampoo my hair so the shampoo I'm going to be using which I picked up the other day at Walmart is the Neutrogena clarify and shine shampoo with pink grapefruit I know that a lot of people have done reviews on YouTube who have locks using the Neutrogena Anti-Residue but I've also read that, or I've also seen that people are saying that it dries out their locks a lot. I do want to clarify but I also, I know that since I'm just starting I don't have residue, um, any crazy residue so I'm not going to be using something that potent. I also bought the Suave Clarifying Shampoo and I'll probably try that out next time and I'll update you on how that goes as well. Comment below which shampoo you use or used for your starter locks and what is the best uh, clarifying shampoo that you can recommend to me? Do you have a favorite clarifying shampoo? Definitely comment below and let me know. So, I am going to get in the shower and wash my locks. It sounds so weird to say that again, but I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm going to wash my locks in these sections these are in fact braids my mom had to braid the front ones because they were just too small to interlock so i have i actually do have a couple of braid locks in there i know a lot of you commented saying that you started your locks with braid locks so i'm kind of in that in that group as well but i will be maintaining these with interlocks some little pieces are kind of just twisted because they're literally too small to be anything yeah so that is what my my edges are looking like I have a couple of braid locks on this side too so I think I have enough space in all of them now so let's do this Okay, so this is what my hair looks like fresh out of the shower. It's actually hanging. I can actually... <laughs> I do like the shampoo. I didn't find anything wrong with it. It definitely did not dry out my hair too much, so I'm happy I got this one instead of the anti-residue one. So far, I like it. it I used it twice. The I like the shampoo, I will use it again. And I'll let you know when I use the Suave to see how that goes in comparison. But my hair feels nice and clean. I'm not going to add anything to my hair at all. No oils, nothing. So just the shampoo is all I'm going to do. This is what it looks like wet. I can actually feel my hair on my neck. 
Wow. Oh, I missed an elastic. I actually don't recommend these elastics. Um, I'm gonna try and find some that have the plastic coating because these are not gentle on your hair at all. So I would not recommend these ones. Here's my hair close up. Now I'm going to, the water's dripping everywhere, so I'm gonna use my microfiber towel. I got this from Amazon, the same one I use with my, lo my loose natural hair. I'm gonna put this on and moisturize and I will come right back and show you how my hair looks when it's a bit more dry. And I really don't know how I want to style it. We're just going to do that for now. This is what my hair looks like when it's semi-dry. Okay, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure that you watch part one and part two of my Microlux install and I will be seeing you in my next video. Bye.